Hey guys, James here, back in our Naples Let's Play. I was just looking around in the ledger. I am no longer the strongest galley fleet. Let alone just fleet. Turkish Empire and Genoa could actually put up a fight against me. Turkish Empire would probably own me. Um, Denmark, Sweden, don't really have to worry about them. Uh, but yeah, there's some actual competitors in the Navy game now. Uh, Spain is... 20 over their force limit, which is hilarious. Military, or military, army-wise, uh, yeah. Spain, Mamluks. Hungary is at war with Venice. Padu Padua declared war on Venice and brought in a bunch of allies, including Hungary. Currently, Venice is winning the war. Barely. Um, currently, Venice is winning the war, but that won't last for long. I'm surprised the Emperor, Bohemia, didn't come to Venice's defense. Because Venice is part of the... Em is not part... Never mind. Never mind. Not surprised anymore. But anyway, yeah, that's an update on military. Z so, Umbria. Still working on becoming a core. Let's see, have I got a city, an urban population in a province over 100,000 yet? Very close. Very close. Two months more of uh, reinforcement, and then uh, we'll shut down army maintenance again. Wow. I'd love this if it stayed like that. God, we're about to advance another military tech. Infantry fire and artillery fire. Oh, okay. Now they're embargoing me again. That, that gets really annoying. Because it's pointless. I... Oh. As far as I can tell. As long as I'm understanding the mechanic of an embargo properly, it's pointless for them to stop and then restart constantly. So, um, should be able to knock the army maintenance down here in August. Yep. Knock that down. Start building it, building up some more income again. Let's go around and check. Check out communication efficiency. Pretty good around here. This is getting a little bit into the yellow, but that's it's fine. Um Oh my. I don't want to lose any stability, so we're going to take that corruption hit. Uh Ceruzzo, excellent communication. I assume Malta will have pretty good communication also. Oh no. They don't have a trade harbor, that's why. How much would that cost us? 302, we're going to pass on that. Those are going to have good communication. Attica. Okay, fairly quick, 28 days. 
and decent communication here. So I guess one thing we could do, maybe improve the port here. Crete is actually in the Egyptian node. That's interesting. Yeah, I might actually want to do that. This population here, 16,000. Actually. That'll give some urban gravity, though, too. Let's do this trade, the uh, Tier 2 Trade Harbor first. And then, in our next, uh, I'm trying to think, next round of uh, treasury buildup, we'll build a town hall. And let's, let's work on building Candia up a little bit. Let's check out the trade map mode. See if our estates have built anything. They haven't. Lazy bums. Oops. Okay. This is a minor center of trade right now. Let's uh, take a look here. Maybe in the trade map mode. I want to look and see where trade is flowing. I mean, obviously it's flowing everywhere, but... Uh, you have incoming. 15. So the Mamluks are obviously... Okay, so... The Egyptian node has... This is the Levant. Okay. So the Egyptian node has three outgoing and three incoming. The Gulf of Aden. The Levant. A lot of it is coming from the Levant. And... Central Africa of some sort? Maybe Chad? Oh, uh, um, what is this? Okay. So, there's a lot of trade coming through here. And it's actually just a lot of it originating right here and being pulled to Egypt. So, I assume there hasn't been much. There isn't really anything coming over from e or India. How do I know there's something there? Well, I don't know. What happened here? Oh, that would be uh, that would be the Mamluks. Uh, yeah, embargoing us. Of course, forgot about that. But anyway, let's let's hop over here in the trade map mode real quick. So obviously there's nothing incoming there. There's a little coming from Central Africa somewhere here. Uh, but Iberia, there's nothing coming from West Africa or the Caribbean or anything like that. Caribbean, however you pronounce it. So we're getting about, what, 10? Yeah, 9 per turn still. Got 49.3 in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The Northwest Atlantic is actually... They have a lot of value along the coast right here. And it, a lot of it is coming from... Uh, oh, God, what country is that? Flanders, I believe, up here? Oh, no, it's actually Burgundy now. Um, but, yeah, these are highly urbanized provinces up here. 
178,000. Um, let's check out this one. Almost 100,000 and 85,000. Highly urbanized provinces up here. They have a lot of production. And then you have northern and western France also, which are producing quite a bit of stuff too. Um, so yeah, strong node here. Plus you've got England who is developing uh, decently. Um, they are the largest city on the subcontinent. I wonder if England and the islands are a uh, subcontinent. I would think there'd be like the islands, the Varian Peninsula, the Italian super region, I would say, central and France maybe. And then Eastern and like a continent here, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure, but. So. 76.4% for Umbria. Thought I was still paused for a second. almost to the next military tech. And I think I'm just going to keep... I'm not 100% sure, actually. I would like to... I'm not sure what I want to do, actually. Standing army could be a good one. Bohemia has now declared war on Venice. Good luck, Venice. Hmm. I really don't know what I should be should do. Engineering ideas would be a good one, but I'm not going to go down another administrative right after doing another one. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what this one does. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Gosh, I think I'm just going to have to go with go with the military one. Go Grand Fleet. No, nah, I don't want to do another naval one. Yeah, I'm going to have to go, like, gosh, I am not 100% sure which one I want to go with here. I think I might go, I think I'm just going to go quantity. It'll drop the cost, get us more manpower. So I might actually hold off on accepting military tech for now. Uh, let the drop, the drop, the cost drop a little bit, and then 
uh, pop it at maybe like 500 or so. So, yeah. I'm going to end this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.